Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are staying safe and healthy. As Ramadan is arriving, sharing my mom's very unique, tasty and healthy recipe, that's Chatpata Masala Alu, which we regularly prepare during Ramadan, especially for iftar and even on normal days. This recipe is very simple to make and tastes extremely delicious and can be prepared instantly with just handful of ingredients and we absolutely love it. Hope you like this video. Keep watching. If you are new to my channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon for getting notified. For making chatpata aloo, here I have taken 4 medium sized potatoes. Then spices we require half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 tablespoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder, 2 tablespoons of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of asafoetida that's hing, and for tempering we require 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, few curry leaves, salt to taste. And then we require one lemon sized tamarind that we are going to soak in water and we will extract the juice out of it. Firstly we are going to boil the potatoes. So into a pressure cooker goes in the potatoes, then water as required. And then going to add salt, mix it well, cover and cook the potatoes until it is done. I have already shared a perfect way to boil potatoes in my tips video. We will share the link. You may have a look. Now pressure cook the potatoes until they are done. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can simply cook in a pan until the potatoes are well cooked. Now here I am cooking in pressure cooker and just one whistle, the potatoes were well cooked. Once pressure releases completely, let's check. You can see potatoes are well cooked. Now peel and chop them into big chunks. Now let's prepare a spice mix paste. For that into a bowl add the powdered spices. That goes in turmeric powder followed by Kashmiri red chilli powder, coriander powder, salt and then add little water gradually and make a paste. Mix it well and form a thick paste. We will tell you the reason why. Mix it well. Spices you may always adjust according to your taste. It's mixed well. See this is the consistency it should be. Once paste is ready, let's move ahead in tempering them. So into a pan, heat up oil. Here I am adding around 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Once oil heats up, to this gonna add mustard seeds first. Allow it to crackle. Then goes in cumin seeds followed by curry leaves. Once they splutter as well, reduce the frame to lowest and to this add the spice paste now. After adding the paste, to this add asafoetida now and mix it well. The reason why we made a paste and not added the spice directly into the oil was to prevent from burning. As we are going to allow the spice mix to cook for a few seconds until we see traces of oil. So that's the reason we mixed it with water first and then add it to the oil. Now you may add little water if required. Here I am rinsing the bowl and adding little water. Now mix it well and allow it to cook. Ensure that the flame needs to be on very low and cook the spices until you see traces of oil. It's been cooking for a minute now and you can see the traces of oil here. So at this stage we are going to add the tamarind water that we had soaked earlier. So add the tamarind water, give a mix. Now allow the mixture to cook for at least 2 to 3 minutes. You can keep the flame on medium now and cook until it starts to thicken and oozes out oil. This is an instant recipe and can be prepared anytime during Ramadan, especially during iftar or even otherwise you can prepare it anytime as a quick snack. You can see the traces of oil. And the mixture also thicken. So at this stage we are going to add the potatoes. So add the potatoes and give a good mix. Now mix the potatoes well until they are very well coated with the mixture. And then we are going to allow this to cook for another 2 to 3 minutes on low to medium flame. Here you may keep it in a semi dry or a dry consistency. It's completely up to you. Only adjust the time accordingly. In just 2 to 3 minutes, 
you can see a super tasty masaledar chatpata alu is absolutely ready isn't this very quick and easy to make and trust me it tastes extremely delicious too so do try this absolutely easy and unique recipe of my mom during this ramadan and i'm sure you'll truly love it many more unique recipes are on the way so stay tuned by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for getting notified wish you all a blessed and a healthy ramadan soon we'll be coming up with another unique and interesting recipe until then stay safe wherever you are see you soon thanks for watching happy cooking bye bye